time she was in the pen, she was the Bale of Gold champ. Second place yesterday in the opening go round. When I talked to her this morning, she said, Ross, all I want is the arena record. Get a hold of it right now. Cassidy Cruz, the blonde lady from Wyoming to ride. Bash to Tim on the move. Round on a pan. One more time to get it. Cass, do your thing around on three. All the way out of here. Get it up. Go, go. 14, 5, 0, 9, And a new arena record. Is that what we said? We talked about that, right, Cassidy? Uh, and, and it's just the power of what you speak usually happens. Congratulations. Come on, champ. Lots to talk about. Bash to Tim, Cassidy Cruz. Yes. Man, you qualified for your first Wrangler National Finals rodeo appearance. That's coming up. But let's just talk about what happened here this morning. I caught you outside. I'm a big fan of speaking positive things into what's going to happen into our life. You came up. We chit-chat a little bit. I said you ran a seven yesterday. You won second to go around right behind Rachel Millimack. You did a great job. You said, Ross, I'm trying to break the arena record today. It, that, that was what you said, and you were so positive about it, and, and, and with the great horsepower that was here, it was a tough race, right? Yeah. Oh, this was extremely tough. Yeah. I mean, it was only separated by a couple tents right. with the best horses around, right. so it was really tough. So now we get to you. I said, I talked to her this morning. She spoke it out there and said, I'm going to break the arena record. You come in a 14.509. The arena record was Vonna Walker and Dan Am famous, a 14.529. That 09 right there. You come across the score line, blow the roof off the cottonwood. What was it like? I was pumped. I I gave a fist pump. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's what I've been talking about for yeah. for a long time, and I really wanted to break the arena record. Right. And when it happened, I, I was extremely happy. Yeah. You were The last time you were in this place uh, was a year ago. You were the average champ at the Barrel of Gold, and then to be able to come back here, and I know your family was excited for you to get back here now. Uh, now you've got to think about you got two great horses. One's at home in Gillette right now. If you can finish among the top ten in the world standings, you're going to get you two tickets and two chances well, if you can get by on one other horse through the semifinals to get back in there. So you've got a lot out in front of you that just to soak in and think about right here. What are you going to do now for the next couple of weeks preparing for the national finals? I'm going to go home and get back on my other horse that's at home and start getting everything in shape. And just uh, it's right around the corner. Right. So I need to make sure I'm ready and my horses are ready yeah. for the best of the best. Yeah. And just get everything ready to go. Right. And then get done with that, Christmas, the semifinals, uh, on to the American. You've got a chance to make some big money, and you've got some great horsepower underneath you. This is a good, good girl right here, too. Very, very polite. You've got a great family. Uh, congratulations on your entire year. And you come here, you come and support Lana's Montana Barrel Days. Um, we appreciate it so much. And you're, yes. you're, uh, you're the woman. Thank you. Man, great it's job. The All right. Thanks for being with us. Got lots more coming in. The Open 5D. Uh, great contestants here at the Montana Barrel Days. Again, presented by Barcade Construction and Copper Spring Ranch.